Hey guys, how you guys doing? It is Iron back with another video and today we're going to take a look at the brand new settings over here. The combat power settings and as well as the buff settings, alright? So right now when you are in the game, right, when you hover to your item, you see that, wait, there's only one attack stat increase over there. But as you see some players having another line, which is the combat power, how do you get that? So you go to your settings, go to your option, game. All right, you can actually choose whether to show combat power only or show both stat attack and combat power. If I just show combat power only, I click on OK, you can see. Wait, why does the attack increase but the combat power decrease over here, you might ask, right? So this is the best that like, you can choose both of them to show it like this. And you can see comparison over here, right? Top and bottom. But you can see that this is a very good comparison of the increase of your character's uh, damage over there. Right, because you see the attack increase, but on the combat power it decreases, and you can see down there on the stats. I have a legendary 9, 9, and 30 percent uh ignores defense, but on the Mitra, I have a 12, 9, and 30 percent okay, extra 3 percent attack. Now, at the B pot, I have 9, 9, 9, but the damage is 9 percent. Is it doesn't the damage always more than the Mitra 3 percent attack? No. Attack is always better than damage. Hence why you can see that the combat power decreases over there. Even though the attack is 9% is super high, but it cannot uh it cannot cover through the 3% attack. Because attack is super good. I always go for attack, do take note. <laughs> yeah. So that is the combat power. If you want to learn more about combat power, you can click on this question over here, go to the character on question, and you'll be able to see other players' combat power as well. This was being introduced uh in the update is because last time a lot of players are comparing through dojo flaws right they may be asking wait you need like 60 dojo flaws to clear this specific boss right minimally or, or that now you just go like oh I, I just need 100 mil combat power to clear this specific boss of course this varies through different jobs as well okay and right? you might be saying that okay this specific job clear uh this boss with 10 uh 10 mil combat power and this specific uh job clear with 15 mil all right it depends but this is so-called a unified uh attack number or something like that for combat power for every player you can click on other players as well then you can see hey how come my co his combat power is uh higher than me yeah then you can hover to your items to actually see oh that's the difference and another uh good scenario about this uh comparison is that you can see that continuous ring is definitely much better than a flat stat ring but they mentioned that hey combat power increase right this ring is better so combat power is still a gauge but it's not a perfect number gauge for you right seat rings are still one of the best right well ring of restraint continuous everything i'll see one of the best compared to flat stack right so yeah you need to take note about that so hmm. and if you toggle that on when you are using cubes you actually show both attack and combat power it's super super useful uh, you can easily see that which are the true stat that is being increased over there. So always go with the combat power. All right. Now, the next part, which is buff. Okay, buff. You need to go to UI. You can see that there are new options over here. You can see that there is a auto sort buff and a minimize buff. So I just click on auto sort buff over here. Click on OK. Take out the top part. Ah, you can see this is the auto sort buff. Yeah, there we go. So this uh, it splits into three, uh, four categories actually. So as you can see over here, the top first line is basically your own skills buff. The second line is your common skill buff. The third line is the item buff. And then the fourth line is actually the party buff. Okay, so I don't have a fourth line over here because I don't have any party, but you can see all the three over here. But this is the best part. You can minimize your auto sort buff. You can only minimize when you are checked with the auto sort, yeah? Then you can actually minimize like this. Clean user interface, everybody. You just don't need, don't want to see this buff, so we are close it. Just open this one, all right? Up to you. And uh, of course, if I toggle this one off, it will not work. Yeah, do take note, it will not work. You have to toggle the auto sort buffer, only you can minimize, okay? As you say, I want to use some of my skills over here, right? All this, all this. You can see it's all up here. Now, the next best part is that there's a new bookmark settings over here, okay? Let me just show you guys how this looks like. So, bookmark settings, I, I have a few skills over here being set up, okay? Um, there's a maximum of 10 columns and 10 rows that you can actually put up over here. Okay. And now I'm just going to go with uh, probably five columns. 
Okay. Now, this is super good because when you want to do a burst, you do not want to miss a skill. You can just look at this and you'll be able to see what is being up. Let's just say I want grinding, all right? I want my Erda over here. And of course I want uh, my fifth job skill, all right? I want to see how long the iframe of my fifth job skill lasts or right? over here. I can just put it down, up to you, okay? And I want to see my grenade shot always up, right? Like this, a little guided arrow as well, okay? Make sure my guided arrow is always there and just click on save. It will show it like this. And you can see that the skills actually uh, will not show here if it's being showed here. So let's just say I will use this, this, this. Okay, you can see that this is one line over here. I use my buff or everything. Okay, it is one line as well. And I can use my uh, soul erda and everything. Okay, it's one line. But if let's just say I toggle it off, I don't want to use it, it will go all the way back to the top. Yeah, it's like either or. If you have bookmark, uh, buff bookmark shown it will not show at the top it will show at the bottom or you can place it anywhere you want you place it here place it here place it here and this is draggable anywhere you want it's possible everybody and right, you can just toggle on all your skills uh, this is actually the wild hunter buff over here all your skills you can see yeah this is how long my iframe is gonna last i don't have to look at the top oh my iframe is gonna be ending no i don't have to look at the top you just have a look at here and you also look at here i can see how long the buff will last which is actually a really really good uh buff bookmark over here everything you can actually see it and how it looks like which is all shown and if you want to have it always display on just add on a uh toggle then it will always show always show it there let me close everything down right okay and this one can close it okay never mind so always will be shown over here if there is an active skill it's super good, super useful. Uh, you can even add in your, your soul. Let's just say I want to have my my soul up here. I'm just gonna add in my I don't think breath I think don't add yeah that yeah, yeah, your your BOD can put it in here as well. Uh, I think Lucid Urines you cannot put in here. Uh, yeah, Lucid Urines cannot put in. Then you can go in your soul over here as well. See? Good shit. Absolutely amazing one guy. This is the technology that we have. And do take note. And it's also a left and right uh, alignment over here. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. And this one, maybe I just put eight. Okay. And left and right alignment. If I go to the right alignment, it will start from the right hand side, of course. Right? And I go to the left alignment, it will go to the left hand side. Okay. So that's basically it. All right. That's basically it for two of the most important settings, right? The combat power info as well as the buff settings over here you guys get some insights over here on uh this brand new settings is super important i have to get this up because a lot of players have been asking right is it available in this update yes it is it is available right now so you can actually toggle it on in your settings okay yep that's basically it thank you very much for tuning into this video as always leave it on subscribe stay awesome everybody stay safe and bye bye